Hi guys and a very warm welcome back to my channel. So tonight's video is going to be an autumn craft slash fall home decor ideas. So these are really simple, really quick and very affordable for just updating your home for fall. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this or Ikea hacks, then definitely subscribe to my channel. I upload three times a week. Anyway, let's get into the video and show you these DIY crafts. So first up, we have been foraging. We've been out looking for lots of different pieces of nature to bring back and create these crafts. So these are some acorns that we looked for. They were harder to find than I thought they would be, but they are actually available on Amazon if you can't find any. And I'm going to spray paint them gold. So I've taken all of the bottom part of the acorn away and I'm going to be spray painting them gold. And I'm gonna take my trusty glue gun and I'm going to glue them back together so that the bottoms remain brown and then the tops are gold. So these are really effective, I think, and obviously it's pretty much free, just a bit of spray paint. I'm going to link down below the spray paint because it's my absolute favorite. If you saw my last IKEA hacks video, I use this stuff all the time. It's brilliant and it's really quite affordable. So I have sprayed those. I'm now going to spray this little tea light holder. So I kind of couldn't really work out how to do this, but I thought, I know, I'm gonna shove a stick in the end, very, very technical, and I'm going to use that as a little stick to be able to spray paint the actual metal. Now this is obviously a flammable spray paint, so you have to be very careful that you leave it a long time and that you're very happy that you're gonna light it. I tested it a few times and it was fine, but you definitely need to be happy yourself, so double check that. I'm gonna take this little tray, which is like an amber glass, it's beautiful, it's from Ikea. I will link my Ikea hacks video down below as well, actually, so you can see them. And these are horse chestnuts. Again, we looked in the woods for these, and I've got a couple, they're really spiky, so be careful you don't hurt your fingers. And then I'm gonna take my sprayed acorns, and I'm going to pop them into the tray and just create a little bit of a display area. This is one of the really like most simple hacks uh, DIYs on this video, but I think it looks quite effective and it's just nice to put on the side. So I'm gonna pop my little candle in there and then I, I will display it on my display cabinet, which again is an Ikea hack. I will leave the link down below if you want to watch that one. I did really enjoy doing this hack. But I just think it looks quite effective and quite pretty as a little note to the new season. So next, this is so simple. I'm gonna take these little uh, uh, rose gold copper wire fairy lights, which I'll link down below there from Amazon, and some of these little leaves. I've actually linked down in the description bar the faux leaves that you can buy from Amazon. These are actually real, but uh, you can use faux and it would actually work probably a little bit better. So I'm gonna take off all of the stems of the leaves and I'm going to pop the wire through and make a hole and then I'm going to thread the wire all the way through each individual leaf. I used about 15 leaves but it's up to you how many you use and you just want to kind of hold it so they don't make too much of a hole which is why I think the faux uh, leaves are actually better for this. And then I'm going to wrap a drawing pin around them and try and navigate my way across the table to pin it up and voila! It looks really pretty and it's so, so easy to do and it just brings a little bit of something pretty to the dining room that has that autumnal feel to it and it just looks really nice. And that one is so, so easy to do. Okay, next up I'm gonna take my Rostolium, I can never say that, spray again and I'm going to take some very small fir cones that we found out on our little walk around the woods. It's great to get children involved in this. My children helped me, inverted commas helped, <laughs> and uh, they love doing the actual prep of finding everything as well. So I'm gonna spray those and then wait a little while, turn them round and then spray the other side and then they're gonna be lovely gold color. I've actually saved half back as well to keep them plain. And then I'm gonna go out to the garden and just get some leaves. These are actually really good because they're really pliable and bendable. Now I'm gonna take a kind of hurricane style vase and use my foliage just to wrap around that on the outside. This vase is actually from Home Bargains and it was about three pounds. I'll also link down below an Amazon version if you want to get one easily from Amazon. And then I just popped little bits around, so little bits of moss and sticks and feathers and those little helicopter seed pod things that I love, like the children love playing with. And then I'm gonna just pop my fur cones in and finally I will be popping in my acorns as well. 
and I'm going to pop a candle in the middle with a glass rim, so a glass holder so that it doesn't catch fire and the smell coming off of this is going to be amazing and it just looks so pretty and autumnal on my display cabinet. Okay, so next up, this is a craft for the children. I've got some glitter glue, which is just from Hobbycraft, I think, and it's just this orange sparkly. In fact, no, that was Home Bargains as well. And I'm going to paint our conkers half and half. So half are gonna stay plain and half will be painted with the orange glitter glue. This is quite Halloween-y as well as fall. I've actually used this on pumpkins before and it works really well. And then I'm simply gonna take a pillar candle and a kilner jar and I'm going to pop the candle in the middle and then I'm going to rather undelicately shove in the acorns. It's a little bit tricky because the kilner jar wasn't quite big enough or the candle maybe was a bit too big. And I'm also going to pop in my fir cones and you do have to kind of shove them in a little bit so that they fit. But after I've done that I will also be popping in the top my coloured glittery ones and then my acorns and it's just such a simple effective way of having a nice pretty on trend candle for fall and it's just going to sit in my windowsill. Okay finally I'm going to take my hurricane vase again and I'm going to take these things which again are from Home Bargains. So I've got popcorn, green split peas and also some red lentils and I'm going to pop my uh, pillar candle in the middle and then I'm going to put in the popcorn and just put that around the candle and layer it and then after that I'm going to, with the help of my toddler, get some split peas in there as you can see they go everywhere as do the red lentils but it's fine he had a great time and then I'm going to just top those up as well and then voila it's all done it's so so simple and I just think it looks really pretty and effective and obviously you can choose lots of different colored beans as well thank you guys so much for watching please do subscribe if you want to see more like this let me know in the comments if you do try any of these DIYs yourself and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.